generally both of those issues actually come into play, especially when you talk about the politics of Western Kenya. Mm -hmm. Then the clans, clanism actually plays a quite a big role. And just the way you've actually rightfully put it uh, uh, there, uh, the clans in Vihiga, the Maragoli, the Tiriki, it is one thing to be a candidate. It's another thing to have all these subclans put into one basket of votes. And uh, most of what is the political collection right now of most of the gubernatorial candidates is actually getting that vote uh, of those different subtribes. Yes, there is a party affiliation also plays some uh, some part. Of course, uh, what would be perceived to be the dominant party in uh, Vihiga would be perceived to be the ANC because uh, uh, of the fact that uh, Musalia Mudavadi is, is the party leader. But that has always been... But again, Vihiga has not always operated in that manner. Mm -hmm. Today, Vihiga's sitting uh, uh, governor is actually ODM. Mm. So yes, there will be the party affiliation uh, per se. But again, ODM is quite strong uh, in Vihiga. Actually, Vihiga, there is a, uh, it's, it's, it's a very complicated scenario because ODM is quite strong. Mm -hmm. The fact that Mudavadi comes from Vihiga makes ANC uh, not a party you can actually wish away. Mm -hmm. And the fact that Haniri has been a two-term senator and a two-term member of parliament makes him quite a strong candidate. So the fact that he's actually on a UDP uh, ticket, despite the fact that the party might not be as strong, but the candidate is actually very strong. Mm -hmm. So in Vihiga is, uh, is, 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 is a wait and see, is a wait and see scenario, because anyone can actually carry the day uh, as the politics stands today uh, in Vihiga County. Mm -hmm.